I mean, it is the best state, but the worst thing about Maine is that if you ever leave, you just always want to go back. February, because at that point, you haven't seen the sun in maybe three to four months. The winters, it's so miserably cold. It can be brutal, the weather. Obviously, the, like, the sub-zero temperatures. I still could never get used to the fact that the winters were so cold. The worst thing about Colorado is the hail. It's good for my buddy who owns a hail damage repair business. The worst thing about Texas, I would have to say, is the weather. Well, the worst thing about Missouri is how humid it is. Especially the summer, the heat, it's unbearable. The weather is just awful. It's the humidity. The heat, it's crazy hot there a lot of the year. The mosquitoes and the humidity. The drug addiction. Poverty. The fact that you have to drive most places. The distance from New York City. There's no industry. The fashion. The rats. Oh my gosh, like. The lack of daylight in the winter. The worst thing about New Jersey is the politicians. The worst thing about Nebraska is it's a little conservative. The conservatism. The politicians should be for the benefit of the people that elected him. We can be kind of sheltered and be very closed-minded. Not to see how much I could line my pocket with and how much I can get when I retire. The worst thing about Oklahoma is the way they vote. Taxes, killing us. Massachusetts, we even get Massachusetts, Massachusetts. It's, it's uh, the hardest part about being from Indiana maybe would be that some of the people are kind of not as like forward-thinking or open-minded. The worst thing about Rhode Island are the roads, ironically enough. Public transportation, Georgia, Atlanta, I love you, but MARTA is not considered public transportation by any means. The worst thing about Hawaii is the traffic. Nobody knows this, but Honolulu has some of the worst traffic in all of the United States. The worst thing about California is everyone thinks they're a special snowflake. The worst thing about Michigan is that it's still a lot in moments segregated. The negative stereotypes, because there is a lot of old-fashioned Confederate type feel. When the Confederate flag flew over the state building in South Carolina. Probably a history of white supremacy. Because the towns are so small, it can be hard to feel like you fit in. The worst thing about Vermont, honestly, is it can be kind of hard to find a connection. It's the fact that you're kind of so far removed from everything else that sometimes it can get a little lonely. One of the worst things about it is just how disconnected it feels from like being able to easily travel and get around the rest of the United States and the world. It's so far away from everything else. If you want to go to New York City, it's two and a half hour flight. If you want to go out to California, it's super far from there. It's so secluded. It's just so spread out. That's what I love about it, but it's what I hate about it. It's like not the Midwest and it's not the East Coast and just kind of like the middle of nowhere. The land, there's so much land. It's pretty small, so everybody kind of knows everybody. There are some small towns that are very tight-knit, and if you visit them by accident, it might be a very unenjoyable experience. I don't know if this is still a thing, okay? The Seattle freeze, it's where you meet somebody, say, hey, we should do this again sometime, and then you never see them again. They are not adventurous when it comes to food. We take our unique cuisine for granted, Everything takes forever because everyone is so nice. And so what should have taken five seconds is now like an hour long endeavor because you have to catch up with everyone you see and you somehow see everyone. 